What is up, geeks? Today I have a very special, very vintage, a very big figure. It's the Scout Walker ATST from Return of the Jedi. If you guys remember that, that's the epic battle on Endor um, with the Ewoks, the Stormtroopers, you know, all of, that, all of that stuff, you know. It was an amazing battle. This is the vintage collection from Star Wars. It is not the uh, classic Kenner. It does have Kenner on the box, but um, they just use that for advertising advertisement purposes as you know Kenner's not really going on anymore this is a Hasbro figure so um but this is really still really cool has a vintage feel let me give you guys a close-up of this box I have to go handheld for this this is a very big box out of the ordinary but this is for the three and three quarter inch line don't get that confused this is not black series um but it is still very cool look at that I'll get into every detail. I will be opening this uh, this figure up. This is a Kmart exclusive. I almost forgot about that, but um, I got this for a very, very cheap, good price. The front and the back and the sides are identical, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll show it to you anyway for those who really need to see that. Um, excuse me for the dust on the top. I've been keeping this figure in box for quite a, a while. Um, and I believe the bottom, okay, the bottom is a little different from the top, but here he goes, Return of the Jedi. And this is the actual film image from Return of the Jedi, as you can see. Here's a blueprint. Um, it shows you how to assemble it. Fairly easy. It's for ages four and up. Everything's arranged in small packages to make it a lot easier. Okay, so I finally got this guy out of the package. Everything's assembled. Now, he is really huge, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to go handheld for this um, so I can give you guys the most detail on this figure. Now, he has a lot, a lot of nice detail, a lot of um, cool features for this guy. Um, the one thing that I have to say right out of the gate Having him stand was a lot harder than I intended it to be. Um, he does have these chicken legs, literally like chicken legs. So it, it it's really hard to keep this guy up. Um, so he is in a weird little position right now. Um, but this is probably the best I can get him in a pose as far as I'm concerned. So here he is. So where do I begin? Let's start with the paint, I guess. Um, as you can see, this is not a perfect ATST. Uh, they're trying to go for the dirty look. You can see this uh, dirt and grime over here. He's, he's seen some battles. Um, very nice paint detail. I like uh, the detail all around here. It's a pretty basic uh, paint tone, but um, it does work. He has some dirt and grime over in these areas too. Very intricate sculpt work though, very nice, very clean, um, very consistent with what you see as far as Star Wars vehicles is concerned. Here's the back, give you a nice shot of the back. So I will get into articulation in just a bit. Um, it will be a little difficult showing it with this huge guy, but I'll try my best. But as you can see, very clean cut, nice, nice um, paint and sculpt work. This has to be one of the most difficult reviews I've had to do because um, it's just really hard to maneuver this guy. Uh, but I'll try my best. Here's articulation. He can open up his hatch up here, just like in the movie. And also what's really cool is you can open this whole cockpit area. And if you can see here, I'll try to get some good lighting in here. There's some uh, stickers. Not really immense detail, but that's good enough. I mean, you could seat your three and three quarter inch figures in there, and I'll show with it, show that to you guys later. As um, this ATST falls over and my whole review station falls over, um, I'll open up these areas here, the windows, which kind of look like eyes. And um, here you can see the, the figures inside. Later I'll show you that, how it looks like. Um, but here you can also you can move the cannons. 
Now you can adjust this and actually switch these out with other cannons. You can put this on there, which is a nice feature. The only bad thing about mine is it doesn't fire. The cannons are supposed to fire, but mine's actually broken, which I don't mind. I mean, it's not a big deal because that's like, that's not strong. Uh, those aren't strong cannons, but um, I don't mind that. But uh, here, this is also adjustable. You can articulate that. You can also articulate the other side. Sorry, guys, but um, here you can move that up and down. Um, his head can articulate a little bit left and right. Um, here you can see it move a little bit left and right, just a little bit, but you don't want it to fall off. Um, now these legs, which are giving me a headache right now, they can articulate. You can move them full 360. I won't do that, but just letting you know that they can, and each side is the same. This one's not full 360, but this can go up and down pretty well. And then you got another ankle joint here too. And you would think that all these joints would help him stand up, but it actually might be the reason why he can't stand up so good. This is the best I can stand the ATST without it falling over, so forgive me for that. But here he is with three and three quarter inch figures. Um, he stands at about a foot tall, give or take, but um, you know, yeah, I have him in the best stable condition uh, position. Uh, if he ha if you had him standing in the way that he looks like in the package, which is a bit of a false advertisement, he would be at about maybe a little bit more than a foot tall. Here, I'll show you how um, the figures look like inside the ATST. So here's my how my stormtrooper looks like inside there, pretty cozy. Um, can't really see him through the uh, windows that well, unless you're pretty close, so... But you can see him. You can see his head, if you look closely there. Not bad. Um, and you can fit another three and three quarter inch figure in there. Um, Chewbacca is probably a bad choice, but um, if you had another Stormtrooper, you can fit both in there pretty easily. But yeah, I made a bad choice of choosing Chewbacca. Um, and there goes one of the legs. Uh, well, I hope you liked my video because it took a lot of effort. And um, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But uh, I really hope you guys appreciated it. I hope you got some info out of it. Maybe it swayed your decision on whether to buy it or not to buy it. Overall, this is a really nice um, piece. It's a nice vehicle. The only thing is standing it up. So if you can find a way to stand it up, then by all means, this shouldn't be a problem. But until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself, guys.